everybody, привет, привет, bonjour, welcome to my channel, my name is Tatiana Klimova and I'm the host at Russian Language Podcast. Uh, you can check on my website russianpodcast.eu. Uh, I work as a language teacher and interpreter. Uh, if you like my channel, please subscribe uh, and you can also donate, buy my books and become Russian Dacia Club's member. So today I have an interesting subject. Uh, my subject is very improvised actually. I've just decided it five minutes ago and I thought that it would be very important to tell you what I think about it. So the subject is how to help your teacher to teach you. <laughs> I'm actually a language teacher myself. I teach Russian and French by Skype. And I also like learning languages. Right now I'm learning Japanese. I would like to give you some advice about how to improve your learning process with a teacher. Well, first of all, uh, when you first meet your teacher, uh, if you decided that it's going to be your teacher, you should uh, tell the teacher about your purpose in learning this language, about your goal. You have to have a real precise goal why you want to learn it. For example, you want to travel to Russia if you are learning Russian or you are learning for business or for family purposes. It's uh, very important to tell your teacher why you are doing this because uh, then the teacher will choose the appropriate uh, program for you, appropriate books, etc. Then a second thing, I think it's uh, very important to give a teacher your feedback. It doesn't mean that you should say I don't like it or I only want to do this or um, things like that. Mm, but I think you should really tell the teacher what you like doing. For example, if you notice that you like doing a certain type of exercise, for example, translating from your mother tongue to Russian, for example, if you're learning Russian, then please tell the teacher that you like it because uh, your teacher will uh, understand that that's what you like and if it's a good teacher he will try he or she will try to give you more exercises like this so give your feedback and tell the teacher what you like another thing which is very important um, your teacher should explain it to you during the class but what all the teachers hate most it's when you ask a student a question uh, to make him or her practice and give you a, a long answer, the person just says, da. <laughs> I understand that it's uh, very difficult to make a sentence and it's easier to say da. And sometimes the teacher asks something, mm, sometimes it happens very quickly and you can't really reproduce the answer. So you just say da or yes or si or hi or whatever. But no, it's uh, very important to answer the question. Uh, it's important to sometimes answer the question with exactly the same words, but it's important to say more than da. For example, if I know that you live, say, in uh, Brazil, uh, and I still ask you, вы живете в Бразилии? Do you live in Brazil? Don't be surprised. Don't wonder why she's asking me, she, she knows. The teacher asks you to make you practice the sentence. Then you should say, да, я живу в Бразилии, even if it sounds obvious. So never answer just да or си or нет. Always give an answer, even if it's with the same words with uh, which the question was asked. So it's very important. There are also some things that uh, you should uh, understand um, for example, when you are interested in something and you are impatient to know more about it, uh, a grammar or a cultural thing or vocabulary, and your teacher says uh, later, in Russian for example, потом, потом, or the teacher doesn't want to tell you the answer, you shouldn't get hurt and think, oh, she or he doesn't know. Uh, it's because you should learn step by step. Sometimes, of course, there should be exceptions and you should go to another subject but 
usually your teacher doesn't tell you everything from the first time because you will be just uh, overwhelmed with information. So sometimes uh, accept that you can't learn from the beginning. So I think uh, that's it. If you are a teacher or um, you are learning language and you've noticed interesting things, please you can uh, comment uh, and it will be very interesting to hear your opinion. Uh, thank you very much for watching my videos. Uh, please subscribe, please visit my website and join Russian Dacha Club. Пока-пока! Bye-bye!